Hello everybody, Mr. Crispy FL here, and I know it's been a while since I've made a video, and I apologize for that, but you know, personal life and private life, uh, business, blah, 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 you don't really care, but I just want to say, for the next foreseeable future, my schedule is going to be sporadic. I think I mentioned that before, it's been a while uh, since I thought about it, I just thought I'd bring it up again. I will keep making videos, it just really has to be a on a whenever I get time schedule. That being said, I have time for a few minutes and I wanted to go show you something. I got a new airbrush. Uh, this is the Grex Tritium TG and um, I got it kind of on a whim, as with a lot of my airbrushes, but I wanted a brush, I, I, let me back up there a little bit. I did some work, I did a uh, entry for the Armies on Parade, and I needed a brush that would allow me to paint, to base coat, and do all the stuff on my board. And I'm going to put up a picture of my board right now. There it is. and. Uh, I needed something to get over there and the little tiny handheld airbrush just wasn't really doing it. So um, I decided to kind of expand my uh, Games Workshop style um, multi-brush method because as I mentioned, I may have mentioned in a previous video that uh, I don't have very often to paint. So when I do, I like to move quickly and so I go along the same lines as I have a brush for very specific tasks. And that way I can just grab a different, you know, grab a different brush rather than having to uh, reconfigure and, oh, here, you know, I need to switch this one to three millimeters. So let me stop, clean the brush, swap the needle. So instead I just have multiple brushes of varying quality and price to do what I need. And this one is a very big, big beefy uh, 0.5 millimeter brush with a with the largest cap they or largest pot they have it also has a neat little feature and i'll show you this here this uh, let's see if we get that on the camera see if i can this little um nozzle here is an actual uh, an add-on that you can get for both you know either one of the grex brushes and what this does is instead of having a perfectly circle spray pattern like most airbrushes have this one actually puts it in a very elongated flat uh line almost and when you're doing uh, uh priming and base coating over a large area that really comes in handy even when you're just priming a single model and i've got this little one of my uh dudes from blood bowl here to show you a priming thing on here but what i did i get put the Point, the 0.5 millimeter needle in this one and then I swapped this one to a 0.3 millimeter needle so this is now a little more this would be my uh, base coat brush on the games workshop brush scale this would be my uh, medium detail brush um, and this would be my artificer brush basically and of course my old uh, HPCS is still my uh, brush that I use paint in that I don't want to mess up a really nice brush with. So not that this is a bad one, it's just it's been relegated to kind of a spare brush. Um, and I've been using this one for a while and you'll notice the big difference is that the it's more of a firearm trigger type style than the but boy that feels weird doing that with my left hand. <laughs> that's what she said. Anyway, um, but it's still a double action brush and that's really cool because what happens is and it's hard to demonstrate this you know, without actually being able to feel it. So I apologize for that. But it, what you do is you pull and there's your air. And there, there is, let's see if I can get up to the microphone so you can hear it. Hear that little kind of stop there? Once you hit that stop, and it's definitely noticeable, from that point on, that starts to retract the needle and that's where you get your actual um, uh, paint from. So you can still do your, you know, use just the air to dry stuff off or, or you know, purge the line and get your tankless compressor going before you start painting. But um, it didn't take nearly as much to get used to as I expected it to. It was very natural. Um, what's funny too is I find myself, uh, when I'm holding it, doing uh, uh, trigger discipline. 
like like with a firearm, keeping my finger off the trigger. But anyway, the other thing I found, and this is really weird, and I would love to hear in the comments of anybody who's used uh, this brush or a brush like this has had that. But for some reason, I thought, you know, I started off, okay, here, I'm going to do this. But as I've been using it, I find that I actually typically spray it like this with my finger out and then my middle finger actually doing the manipulation of the trigger. I did not expect that to happen. I don't know why it just subconsciously started happening. And I'm actually quite glad it did because it, you know, in trying between the two, it feels like my finger helps me because I'm not used to this. Having this finger here pointing actually helps me to gauge where the paint is going. And, um, other than that, it's got all the Grex features that we know and love. It's got the, you know, the magnetic, uh, tip holder on the back. It's got the, the spray adjust still breaks apart just fine. This, this thing actually, when it comes, I don't want to take it off now because I have to pull the, it best to pull the needle out when you do it, but you can loosen Well, I can do that actually. Uh, you can actually change how you want the orientation by doing it like this. The spray is going to go out like that. Whereas doing it, and this is this takes two hands. It's easier to do when you don't have somebody looking over your shoulder, aka the camera here. But right here, now with it like that, it's now pointing straight up and down. So uh, you know I can do a side to side motion on on a model. But uh, now actually, I absolutely love this. It's still got that Grex comfort. It's very, it's nice and heavy feels really well made again standard problem as before it does definitely does not fit in the uh <laughs> no, doesn't, it, it does not fit. it just it doesn't so what i do is i just hang it up here like that probably not the best way to do it now in my vid in my video about the grex genesis i did mention that i wasn't really thrilled with how the uh little silicon thing kind of stops it from going in here all the way um, not a big problem, but still kind of a, 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 just a little gripe. Somebody from Grex commented on that video and said that the official, uh, stand that Grex sells will accommodate the airbrush needle size or airbrush size and everything like that. Uh, the downside is it actually in looking at it for me, downside for me, everybody else purely suggest sub subjective. But it actually mounts and clamps to the side of my de of the desk. I like go over there, and then there's a little thing you twist and clamps on here, much like my uh, light here. Uh, same way it connects. And for me, because I actually work on uh, you know within just a couple inches of uh, see, because I turn this way, and there's my computer that I do all my you know stuff for a living on. So you know. I like to be able to move this out of the way and I, you know, my desk is shaped like a giant U, so I'm moving, oh, let's make sure I got that right back to where I'm supposed to. I'm moving in and out of my desk all the time and so I don't want to bump one of these airbrushes and stuff, so I don't really have a dedicated workbench what to leave all my stuff on. So, you know, I'm still perfectly fine. I'm, I'm happy with this one that I got from Harbor Freight for a couple bucks. It, it drops in there just fine. It's not a big deal. Like I said, it's just a gripe uh you know when i was looking for something bad to say about you know you, you can't give something a hundred percent review because but you know because and it is something that i did notice is kind of weird but anyway enough of that let's go ahead and prime this and take a look at uh what you know let me go ahead and put some uh, paint in there first let's go ahead and prime this model we kind of see how it acts yeah, yeah, shaky 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 i am using the Daniels. It's made by uh, Badger. <laughs> but, uh, gotta, you know, okay, completely side note, if you're going to put some kind of stylized font, make sure it's readable. All right, just the, the uh, amateur designer in me just always gets pissed off when somebody uses a font that is almost unreadable. I'm just going to put a few drops in there and make a mess. Jeez, jeez, Crispy, what the heck is going on here? All right. So there's a few drops in there. That should be enough to prime this particular model. And so here, I'll show you here. So there's the, uh, uh, you can see kind of the, the, the large line on the thing. So I'm gonna come over here and, oh wow, blue on blue. I thought this through with the gloves, didn't I? All right, but we'll just go ahead and give it a 
And this does do a fantastic job of priming. I, I do like that uh, Badger primer. Uh, it works quite well. Da -da -da. You give a nice thin, and I hear I was talking about earlier. About how to... There you go. I think because I'm trying to do this on camera. There you go. Uh, decent enough coverage with just a few drops. Um, boy, that is that blue is hard. This is my first time priming one of these Blood Bowl uh, colored ones. Huh? I didn't get that much. Okay, yeah, there we go. Didn't squirt as much into it as I thought it originally. <laughs> I had a dollar for every time I said that. Ooh. Try to keep this PG. Alright, so let's just make sure we get all the angles here. And when you're airbrush, when you're priming with an airbrush, you do want to try and keep it light so as not to clog color. You can easily clog some. Let me see if I can put this over here and it'll make it easier for you guys to see. But this is a fantastic. I mean, you know, ergonomically, if I was painting for a, a day or you know, in a different angle, this is a big, a great brush. If you're thinking about it, but you're not too keen on the ergonomics of a normal paintbrush, do give this one a try. I really do enjoy it. And there we go. Ooh, missed a spot. Alright. And ooh, we keep missing spots! Unrehearsed! Anyway, okay. There we are. Well, that's all primed. There's the little... I'll show bring that up here. Can we... Try it. Can you see that? There we go. That's one on that. That's primed enough for painting. So, like I said, that was the Grex uh, Tritium, 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 uh, real professional here. What was Tritium? I keep wanting to call it Trinium. There was some product back when I was growing up that was called Trinium, and I can't, uh, I, I just, my brain wants to say, hey, you know, go back to when you were eight years old. But uh, yeah, there's a Tritium TG dual action pistol style airbrush and it is fantastic if you've been thinking and the other oh one other thing one other great thing pretty much everything uh needle nozzle it's at cups tips uh n most of it is completely interchangeable with a grex genesis uh, uses the same needle, same needle style, and everything. In fact, all I had to do was this one came in 0.3 originally, and I swapped it out with the 0.5 over here in my uh, from my Genesis. So this is actually the 0.5 millimeter Genesis uh, needle and nozzle that was originally in the Genesis, and the Genesis now has the 0.3 millimeter uh, needle between these. So, uh, but ooh, how did I get? How did that happen? Oh well. I am messy with the uh, paint sometimes. Sorry, my monitor's not far, but it does. Um, so that's it. That is the that is that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was somewhat informative. Like I said, this was an impromptu thing. I didn't really plan what I wanted to say. I just wanted to give you a quick update, make sure the channel stays alive, because I know so YouTube is doing some. Uh, uh, I don't want to say the word. Uh, they're doing some wonky stuff at the moment. So, uh, but anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a like down there. Uh, subscribe. That would be great. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask, ask in the comments. I will answer them as best as I can. And uh, if you could do me one more favor. If you could have a nice day, I'd appreciate it. See you next time, everybody.